In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Recover My Files data recovery software to recover approximately 10,000 digital photos from an external USB drive that's lost its drive letter. Before running Recover My Files, it's useful to use Windows Device Manager to examine the status of the drives connected to the computer. Right click on My Computer, then select Manage, and then go to Disk Management. Disk Management tells you about the drives connected to the computer. We can see here that our problem drive, disk 1, is listed as unallocated, which means that Windows will not see the data. Now we run Recover My Files. Because we are trying to recover an entire drive, we use the Recover Drive option and click Next. The Drive Selection window shows us the available drives to search. We can see our problem hard drive listed as disk 1. Select disk 1 and press the Next button. We're then given two search options, automatic mode or searching using selected file types. In a drive recovery situation, it's almost always better to use the automatic option because it's pre-configured to give the best drive recovery results. In the first phase of the search, Recover My Files attempts to identify the entire lost petition, that is, the entire lost drive letter. This part of the search lasts for approximately 10 minutes, depending on the size of the drive. Here we'll jump ahead in time to the end of this phase of the search. At the end of this first phase of the search, if a petition is found, it will be rebuilt and displayed under folder view of the search results screen. In this case, the petition was corrupt and it wasn't found. So now recover my files, we'll move on to the next phase of the search. If it was found, we could stop the search and examine the results here. Now Recover My Files is going down the disk sequentially looking for specific file types. We can click on these lost files and preview them. Whilst these lost files are valuable, what would be better to find is the full file and folder structure with the original file names. Recover My Files is searching down the disk at this stage and it's looking for a table called the File Allocation Table or the Master File Table. This table contains a list of all the original file and folder names. We can tell when this has been found when the file system records number jumps to a high number and remains stable. On this disk we lost approximately 10,000 digital photos and the number has just jumped to approximately 10,000. We're currently seven minutes into the process of this search. What we could do is let the search run to the end of the drive. However, because file system records have been found, we could elect to stop the search early. Click the Stop button will allow Recover My Files to rebuild those file system records and display a virtual petition in the results screen. What we should now see under Folder View of the Search Results screen is a virtual petition which contains our original file and folder structure. We can also view these files in different ways using the File Type, Date or Find tabs. Expand the folder selection by clicking on the plus signs. Right click on the right hand side to preview individual files. The blue numbers next to the folders tell us how many files are in each particular folder. If the files that we're looking to recover can be displayed in the results screen, we can select the ones that we want to save by placing a tick in the selection box next to either the folder or the files. At the bottom of the screen, we'll see the number of files selected for saving and the volume of those files. Once they're selected, click on the Save Files button. Here, it's necessary to purchase an activation key in order to save these files to another drive. 